Yes, my dear students, I hope you all are fine and I also hope that you have enjoyed your holidays and revised your slavers, whatever we have covered in the previous month. I also hope that you all have completed your notes also of the previous chapters. I, on behalf of St. Kabi Public School, welcome you on online classes. Now, with a fresh mind, we will start our slavers for the month of July. And beginning with that, I'm Today we are going to study story of Kabuliwala. I hope you all are fresh enough for the studies and take a keen interest in studies too. Thank you and uh, once again I welcome you all again in online classes. So as per schedule Today we are having our English class and we are going to start our next chapter from the literature that is Kabuliwala. This is a very famous story written by Rabindranath Tagore. So let's study about who is Rabindranath Tagore. Good morning dear students. So today we are going to start our next chapter, Kabuliwala. The story Kabuliwala was written by Rabindranath Tagore. So before starting with the chapter, let me introduce the author of this chapter, that is Rabindranath Tagore. Rabindranath Tagore was born on May 7, 1861, Juransko, Calcutta. He died on August 7, 1941, Juransko, Calcutta. He studied in University of Calcutta and University College, London. Language known by him, Bengali, English. He was a poet, short story writer, novelist. He was a poet, short story writer, novelist, essayist and painter. He also won Nobel Prize in Literature in the year 1930. The famous National Anthem of India was also written by Rabindranath Tagore. His famous books were Gitanjali, The Home and the World, Shishar Kovita, Lipika, Stray Birds, I Won't Let You Go, The Lover of God, Of Myself, Red Oleanders. All these books were written by Rabindranath Tagore. He also mentioned some movies based on the literature and they are Cloud Clapped Star, Kabuliwala, Teen Kanya, Charulata, Charungi, Chokarbali, Kashmakash. So I hope now you are familiar with the author of this chapter. Kabuliwala is a very famous story that you have read in your previous class to classes too. This story was written by Rabindranath Tagore. So let's start the chapter Kabuliwala written by Rabindranath Tagore. Kabuliwala is narrated by the father of a five-year-old Mini, the talkative and innocent Mini and Rehmat, a hawker of dry fruits from Kabul, are the central characters of the story. So the story is narrated by Mini's father and Mini and Rehmat were the two main characters of the story. Rehmat is the another name of Kabuli Wala. Rehmat belongs from Kabul and Mini was a five-year-old girl. She was the narrator's daughter. As described, Mini was talkative by nature. She is very inquisitive, curious to know everything. And because of that, she asked too many questions. One morning, Mini saw a Kabuliwala 
through her window and called out to him. He was a tall, untidily dressed man with a turban on his head and a bag slung over his shoulder. Now it is quite evident from the picture the way Kabuliwala has been described. He is a tall man, untidily dressed up with a turban on his head and a bag on his shoulder. And one morning, Mini saw him and called him out through her window. Let's see what happened next when she called him. As soon as Kabuliwala drew close the house, Mini ran and vanished inside. When the Kabuliwala approached her house, she got afraid and got inside the house. Her father bought some dry fruits and chatted with him. With whom her father chatted? With Kabuli Wala. And came to know of him and his family at Kabul. When his father chatted with Kabuli Wala, he came to know about Kabuli Wala that he belongs from Kabul. Then he called Mini and introduced her to Rehma, the Kabuli Wala, so that she would shed her fear of the Kabuli Wala. Rehmat gave Mini some dry roads from his back. So after the interaction with Kabuliwala, her father, Mini's father, called her so that she could meet Kabuliwala to get rid of her fear as she was afraid from Kabuliwala. Okay? As she thought that the back uh, that Kabuli Wala was carrying on his shoulder, she thought she might he might be kidnapping the children and keeping those children in his bag, and that's why she got afraid from Kabuli Wala. Rahmat offered him some dry fruits so as to become friend of her. Later, Mini's father found that his daughter and Kabuliwala had struck up a happy relationship and two of them met practically every day. After some days, Mini's father, what did he found? That Mini and Kabuliwala became friends and they were talking to each other very patiently. As Mini was talkative by nature, she was listening to Kabuliwala's stories patiently and Kabuliwala also patiently listened to her chats and both of them became friends. Kabuliwala was a patient listener to Minnie's tittle tattle and also gave her loads of nuts and raisins. The Kabuliwala entertained Mini with stories of his motherland. So as you can see, Kabuliwala and Mini, they became best friends and both were listening to each other patiently. As Kabuliwala was concerned towards, attracted towards Mini because of his own daughter who is away from Kabuliwala. Mini's mother Rama was against their friendship, against the growing companionship. Companionship here means friendship between her daughter and Kabuliwala. Uh, she was also afraid that he would kidnap Mini one day and sell her off as a slave. So I hope up till now the story is clear to you. All of a sudden, disaster struck the Kabuliwala. He was arrested and sentenced to several years of imprisonment for stabbing one of his customers who owed him money. So what happened one day? Kabuliwala got arrested for a murder and he was sentenced to several years of imprisonment. He was punished as he 
murdered one of his customers who refused to pay the money for the shawl, Kashmiri shawl. After his release from the jail, Kabuliwala went to Mini's house to meet her. So after being released, after spending so many years in jail, he got released and after, uh, immediately after being released from the jail, he went to Minnie's house to meet her. However, he found that Minnie had grown up and it was her wedding day. So when he reached Minnie's house, it was her wedding day. And she found her that she is now a grown-up girl. 